America, a land forged from revolution, a beacon of liberty for the downtrodden. Yet, beneath the surface, a darkness festered, a growing divide that threatened to tear the nation apart. This is the story of the American Civil War, a brother against brother conflict that would leave the land scarred and forever changed. In the North, industry boomed, cities swelled, and a spirit of progress took hold. But in the South, a different reality existed. Lush plantations relied on a brutal system, slavery. The North saw it as an abomination, a stain on the nation's ideals. The South clung to it as a way of life, a foundation of their economy. Decades of simmering tensions boiled over with the rise of Abraham Lincoln, a man determined to halt the expansion of slavery. His election in 1860 sent shockwaves through the South. States began to secede, declaring their independence from the Union. The fledgling Confederate States of America was born, led by Jefferson Davis. The nation watched in disbelief as families were split, friends turned foes, and the once unthinkable became reality. Diplomacy failed. On a crisp April morning in 1861, Confederate forces bombarded Fort Sumter, a Union stronghold in South Carolina. The Civil War had begun. The war that unfolded was unlike anything America had ever witnessed. Brother fought brother on blood-soaked battlefields like Antietam, Gettysburg, and Shiloh. Generals like Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant emerged as legends, their strategies shaping the course of the conflict. The toll was immense. Technology like the Gatling gun ushered in a new era of mechanized warfare, making battles deadlier than ever before. The cries of the wounded echoed across the land, and the nation mourned its fallen sons. But the war wasn't confined to battlefields. It tore through the fabric of society. Women stepped up to fill the void left by men at war, working in factories and running farms. Families endured unimaginable hardship, living in constant fear for their loved ones. And for the enslaved, the war offered a glimmer of hope. The Emancipation Proclamation, a bold move by Lincoln, declared slaves in Confederate territory free. Many fled to Union lines, risking everything for a chance at liberty. As the war dragged on, the tide began to turn. The North's superior industrial might and manpower reserves slowly wore down the South. General Grant, a relentless fighter with a win-at-all-costs mentality, pushed the Confederate Army back inch by bloody inch. By 1865, the Confederacy was on its last legs. General Lee, his once proud army tattered and depleted, surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse. The war was over. The nation, battered and bruised, was finally reunited. The scars of the Civil War ran deep. Over 600,000 lives were lost, leaving a generation forever marked by the conflict. Reconstruction, the process of rebuilding the South, would be long and arduous. The fight for racial equality, ignited by the war, would continue for another century. The American Civil War was a defining moment in the nation's history. It exposed the deep divisions that had always existed and forced the country to confront its original sin, slavery. Though the war ended, the battle for a more perfect union, a nation where all men are truly created equal, would rage on.